Welcome to Tethered Thoughts with Bosse De Santos, the podcast where I deliver powerful God truths to fuel your success. My name is Bosse De Santos, your host, and I'm honored to journey with you towards attaining a success mindset. I lead Romans 819 Ministries, where we equip Christians to know who they are and what they have in Christ so they can live audacious and impactful lives. In each bite-sized episode, we'll dive into scriptures which affirm the mindsets which have propelled successful leaders, innovators, and visionaries to the heights they've attained. Join me every other weekday for a quick, potent dose of eternal wisdom meets contemporary success. Hello, friends and fellow world changers. It's midweek. Time to recharge and keep your chin up for the rest of the week. The title of today's episode is Finding Success Through Discipline and Commitment. Our focus scripture is Matthew chapter 7 verse 14. And today I'll read from the easy to read version. It goes, But the gate that opens the way to true life is narrow, and the road that leads there is hard to follow. Only a few people find it. This scripture is part of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, where he outlines what it means to live a life that pleases God. It focuses on the challenge of walking the narrow path, a journey that requires discipline, perseverance, and faith. The narrow road, as Jesus describes, represents the difficult choices and sacrifices one must make to live a godly life. It points out that not everyone will choose this path, but those who do will experience life in its fullest, eternally, and here on earth, through the fulfillment of God's purpose for their lives. I actually found the way Pastor Peterson put it in the message translation quite fascinating. He said, don't look for shortcuts to God. The market is flooded with surefire, easygoing formulas for a successful life that can be practiced in your spare time. Don't fall for that stuff, even though crowds of people do. The way to life, to God, is vigorous and requires total attention, meaning no shortcuts. Now, doing things God's way, even when difficult, leads to true success in life. Choosing the narrow path is a world, uh, in a world rather, fulfilled with distractions and compromises, ultimately leads to life, fulfillment and God's blessings. And following the narrow path means committing to doing the right thing, even when it's unpopular or difficult. It requires making choices based on faith and values rather than convenience or what society dictates as acceptable. It's a call to align with God's will, to live with purpose, and to avoid the temporary pleasures that lead away from the truth. Only a few will be willing to stay on this road because it demands perseverance, resisting temptations, and often going against the grain of society. However, those who choose it are promised true lasting success that goes beyond what the world offers. Scott Harrison was once a successful nightclub promoter living in luxury, but his life was spiritually empty. Realizing he was walking on the broad path of self-indulgence, Scott made a radical decision to change his life and follow the narrow road. He spent two years on a hospital ship off the coast of Liberia, volunteering and witnessing firsthand the struggles of those in poverty, particularly the lack of clean drinking water. This experience led him to found Charity Water, a non-profit dedicated to bringing clean and safe drinking water to people in developing countries. Starting the organization was far from easy. Scott faced countless financial struggles, doubts, roadblocks, but he chose the narrow path, forsaking personal wealth and success in worlds in the world's eye to pursue a higher calling. Today, Charity Water has raised millions of dollars, funded over a hundred thousand water projects, and brought clean water to over fifteen million people. Scott's journey exemplifies Matthew 7 verse 14. He walked the narrow road, making sacrifices and enduring difficulties, but his discipline and faithfulness have brought life, not only to himself, 
but to millions around the world. His story is a powerful reminder that true success comes from following the narrow path even when it's difficult. What are some uh, key takeaways and success principles in uh, today's scripture? Discipline is key to success. Walking the narrow path requires discipline, resisting temptations and staying focused on what truly matters. The narrow road is not always easy, but persistence through difficulties brings rewards and leads to lasting success, meaning persevering in the face of challenges. Choosing God's way over the easy broad path ultimately brings deeper joy, purpose and a sense of fulfillment that temporary pleasures cannot provide. Some practical life applications. Stay focused on integrity and excellence even when shortcuts and easy gains present themselves at work. This may mean turning down unethical opportunities or remaining patient in a job that requires hard work but aligns with your values. Commit to truth, honesty, and genuine love, even when it's hard. Don't settle for superficial or fleeting connections. Build relationships on a foundation of trust, sacrifice, and commitment. And for personal development, take small disciplined steps toward personal growth. This could be committing to daily prayer, regular exercise, or mastering a skill, knowing that consistent focused effort leads to long-term success. To conclude, Matthew 7, 14 reminds us that the narrow road, though difficult, leads to life. In a world where it's easy to take shortcuts, compromise, or pursue temporary pleasures, walking the narrow path requires discipline, perseverance, and faith. Yet those who choose this path find fulfillment, purpose, and true success that goes beyond material gains. Just like Scott Harrison's journey, we're all faced with decisions about whether we will walk the broad road or stay faithful to God's way. The narrow road might seem might not be easy, but it's the path that brings God's blessings and a life that brings uh, uh, bears lasting fruit. As we walk this path, we posi- position ourselves for the true life and success that God has promised. Now, here's a declaration to make and meditate on throughout today. I declare, I walk the narrow path that leads to life. I choose discipline, perseverance, and faithfulness in every area of my life. I reject compromise and the easy road, knowing that God's way leads to true success and fulfillment. I stay the course, trusting that God's blessings are waiting for me on the path of righteousness. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening and taking action. I trust this episode has impacted you. Please subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Also, if you know anyone who could use these truths, please share with them and be sure to rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Jesus entrusts us with the responsibility of being salt and light in the world. Both traits are nouns and verbs, who to be and what to do. Romans 8, 19 says, the world is waiting for us to demonstrate God. So go out, make a difference today, even if just one heart at a time. May the grace of God empower you, his wisdom instruct you, and his love secure you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you and God bless. Have a successful day and see you on Friday.